फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द वर्किंग ऑफ रिएक्शन टर्बाइन सेकंड क्वेश्चन सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन रिएक्शन टर्बाइन बाय यूजिंग कंबाइन वेलोसिटी ट्रायंगल डायग्राम लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग ऑफ रिएक्शन टर्बाइन इन रिएक्शन टर्बाइन स्टीम एंटर्स इन टर्बाइन अंडर प्रेशर एंड दिस प्रेशर मेक्स द ब्लेड टू मूव व्हेन स्टीम इज ग्लाइडिंग ओवर द ब्लेड सरफेस there are two types of blades in reaction turbine first one is the guide blade it is also known as the fixed blade and second one is the moving blade and it is also known as the runner blade what is the function of guide blade it allows the steam to enter inside a runner blade without shock now how it is possible now we will understand this concept with the help of the diagram so this is the diagram for the blade we will show here what is the velocity of blade that is vb in this linear direction that is with the help of this horizontal lines and direction is towards the right hand side so this is vb now for the shockless entry in from guide blade to the runner blade so this is the runner blade or we can say moving blade we have to make the relative velocity at the inlet tip will be tangential to the blade angle now we will show this now steam is moving from guide blade to runner blade in such a way that relative velocity at inlet tip so this is the inlet tip that is point c and here is the outlet tip that is point d so at inlet tip we have to show here relative velocity vr will be tangential to the blade angle so this is known as the inlet tip blade angle now in the same way we have to show the relative velocity at outlet tip will also be tangential to the blade angle so at this outlet tip d we have to show the relative velocity that is known as vr1 and that will also be tangential to the blade angle and i will show here the direction of motion of the steam so this this is the condition to make the entry of steam and exit of steam without any shock now how to decide the angle so vp is in the horizontal direction so i will draw here one horizontal line and here also i will draw one horizontal line so the point of intersection of this horizontal line to vr i will say a in the same way here also for vr1 i will say a now the angle made by this vr at the inlet tip that is the relative velocity at the inlet tip to the direction of motion of the velocity of blade that is vb so this is the forward direction so this angle is known as theta and in the same way the angle made by relative velocity at the outlet tip that is vr1 to the direction of motion of the blade that is in the forward direction this angle is known as phi now we will complete the velocity triangle diagram for the action turbine for the action turbine here theta is equal to beta and phi is equal to alpha so we will first find out what is the angle alpha so angle alpha that is the angle made by absolute velocity at the inlet tip to the direction of motion of the blade so absolute velocity at inlet tip we have to show that is nothing but v1 so here i will show this is known as v that is the absolute velocity and here is the angle alpha so for the action turbine this phi is equal to alpha that means these two angles are same now in the same way theta is equal to beta now what is the angle beta so angle beta is the angle made by absolute velocity at the outlet tip to the direction of motion of the blade so here this this horizontal line is nothing but direction of motion of the blade so i will show here here is the angle beta and here is v1 
so now this condition is getting satisfied now we will complete this diagram so here v is that is the absolute velocity at uh, inlet tip is in the inclined direction so i will resolve this v in the horizontal component and in vertical component so here with the help of red marker so here is direction is forward and here is the downward direction so here the horizontal component now we will draw this component one one after other so this horizontal component i will extend this in the forward direction and then after that i will complete this vertical component so here is the vertical component and i will show this this is the vertical component now this point of intersection that is for making an angle alpha i will say this point will be b now if we observe here this triangle is getting completed now this point i will say this point will be e now this horizontal component that is the distance from this b to e is known as the velocity of whirl that is vw so we have to show here this is the velocity vw and here the distance in between a to b is nothing but it is equal to the magnitude of velocity of blade that is vb so we have to show here vb now this vertical component is known as velocity of flow that is vf so in this way this triangle is getting completed now what is the main important point that is the here relative velocity at inlet tip and relative velocity at outlet tip both are tangential to the blade angle so this is important point because because of this shockless entry and exit th this condition is important now in the same way we will resolve here v1 so v1 is also in the inclined direction so i will resolve this in horizontal component and vertical component so here is vertical component and here is horizontal component so what is the direction here is downward direction and here is direction towards the left hand side now we will draw these components one after other so first i will complete this vertical component and then horizontal component so this horizontal component from this point to this point so here i will show arrow now this vertical component is known as velocity of flow so for the exit tip we will use here vf1 and horizontal component now i will give here the point so here will be point f and here will be point b so this distance in between b and f is nothing but velocity of whirl so at this exit point we will use here the suffix one that is vw1 and here the distance in between a and b is known as the vb that is the velocity of blade so v now we will solve one problem i will read what is the given question in reaction turbine 30 tons of steam per hour is required it develops 10 kilowatt power find the linear velocity of moving blade inlet and outlet blade tip angle are 35 degree and 20 degree respectively so this was the given question we will solve this problem with the help of combined velocity triangle diagram let us first understand what is the given data mass m is given 30 ton per hour and now we have to convert this into standard unit that is kilogram per second So thirty ton that means thirty thousand kilogram and in one hour there are three thousand six hundred second. So which is equal to eight point thirty three kilogram per second. Then power that is p is equal to ten kilowatt and we will convert this into watt that is ten into ten raised to three watt. Inlet blade tip angle and outlet blade tip angle is given. Now we know that what is the condition for the shockless entry. that is we have to keep the relative velocity at the inlet tip and at the in outlet tip should be tangential to the blade angle and if we observe here the angle made by the relative velocity with the direction of motion of blade that is theta and phi so at inlet tip we can say that inlet blade tip angle theta is equal to 35 degree and for outlet tip 
this is the angle phi that is outlet blade tip angle is equal to 20 degree so we will write here that is theta is equal to 35 degree and phi is equal to 20 degree and we have to find out what is the vb that is the magnitude of vb that we have to find out now we will draw the combined velocity triangle diagram and for that we will consider this magnitude vb that is equal to 20 centimeter so you can consider any scale uh, as per the space available so i will consider here consider ab that is the length ab is equal to 20 centimeter now what is this ab so if we observe here this ab is nothing but the magnitude of this vb now as we have to refer these diagrams at the inlet tip and at the outlet tip and we have to complete the triangles. If we observe theta and phi are available but for the reaction turbine what is the condition? This angle theta is equal to angle beta. So I will write here theta is equal to 35 degree which is also equal to beta and this angle phi is equal to angle alpha. So this is also equal to angle alpha. Now we will complete this diagram. If we observe this point A and B. So here at this point A and here is the length AB. So in the same way we have to show arrow also that is in the forward direction. Now at this point A this phi is an acute angle and this phi is equal to 20 degree. So we have to complete this. Now this is the angle made by the relative velocity. So I will show here this line with the help of the red marker. So at this A, point A here, phi is the acute angle that we can see in this diagram. So in the same way we have to plot here one angle that is equal to 20 degree and we have to complete this line. Now we don't know what is the exact magnitude. So we will draw here approximate line and we will complete this now if we observe at this point b angle beta is there but here we have to extend this b that is from b to f so i will make here one construction line that is i will extend this point B and here with this extended line here is the angle beta. So what is the angle beta? So beta is equal to 35 degrees. So we have to draw here. So at this point B we have to take here one angle that is equal to 35 degree and we have to complete this line. And now at this point A and B, here is the point of intersection and this point of intersection is nothing but point D. Now in from this point D, we will draw one vertical line. So in the same way and that will be nothing but the velocity of flow that is Vf1 at the outlet tip and we will complete this. So here is F. Now we know that this AB is nothing but VB. So we will show here. This is nothing but VB. And here BF is nothing but VW1. So we have to show this. It is nothing but VW1. Now we will show arrow also. So arrow, all the arrow in the downward direction. And here this arrow in the from the left hand side. So this triangle is getting completed. Now we will move for the next. Now at next, at this point B, here is the angle alpha. And that angle alpha is the acute angle for this line AB. So here is point B and from this line AB we have to take this acute angle and this alpha is equal to 20 degree. So from this AB we have to take here 120 degree angle. And at this point B, we have to draw a line. So we will complete this line. Now in the same way, 
we if we observe at this point a here a is extended in the forward direction but here we will extend this in this direction and after this a so i will make here one construction line and at this a to the extended line here is angle theta now this theta is equal to 35 degree so this is the angle made by this vr that is the relative velocity so i will complete this angle with the help of the red line so this angle is equal to theta and that is equal to 35 degree and this point of intersection for this two angles that is equal that is nothing but c so we have to write here that is c now from this point c we have to draw one vertical line that is the vertical component and that is nothing but vf and direction we have to show in the downward direction so here this this is the line for 20 degree that is for v and direction is in the downward direction here for a it is for vr so same directions that we have to give as per in the diagram so here is vr now we have to complete this triangle now if we observe the distance in between this a to e sorry distance from this b to e is known as vw so i will complete this and we will show the distance in between this B to E. That is VW. Now if we observe this triangle diagram. Then we can say that this V is equal to VR1. Then this VR is equal to V1 and VF is equal to VF1. That means these are the velocities that are same in magnitude. Now we will move for the solution. Now it is given that power developed that is equal to 10 kilowatt and that is equal to 10 into 10 raised to 3 watt. So what is the formula for power? So power P is equal to M in the bracket VW plus VW1 into VB. Now VP, if we observe, we have taken it 20 cm, that is the distance in between A to B. And here VW plus VW1. So if we observe this diagram, here is the VW, that is distance from E to B. And VW1, that is distance from B to F. Now if we observe this diagram, AB is equal to 20 cm. So we have to take this. That is distance in between this A to B. That is equal to 20 cm. And for VW plus VW1. That is distance E to F. So we have to measure this distance E to F. And that is equal to 58.8 cm. Now exact value for this VB as well as VW and VW1 is not known. So we will convert this VW plus VW1 in terms of VB. Then in this equation this M is known, this P is also known and there will be only one unknown term that will be VB. So how to convert this? So this VW plus VW1 is known 58.8 cm. And if we take the ratio that is VW plus VW1 divided by VP. That is 58.8 divided by 20 which is equal to 2.94. Therefore we can say that VW plus VW1 is equal to 2.94 and this VB we have to shift to the right hand side. So this is the relation. Now instead of VW plus VW1 we will use this value that is 2.94 into VB. So if we solve this then we will get the answer that is 10 into 10 raised to 3 which is equal to 8.33 into 2.94 VB square and therefore VB square is equal to 408.3. So if we take the square root on both the sides then we will get the answer VB is equal to 20.2 meter per second.